Hi guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Software Testing by MKD. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about difference between verification and validation. Before I proceed with this video, make sure that you guys have seen my VNV model video and stages of requirement video. Link is there in the description. Please check it out. Those two videos will help you to understand the difference between verification and validation in a very perfect way. So, before wasting time, let's get started to talk about what are the main differences we have for verification and validation. So talking about verification, you're verifying customer requirement specification, your software requirement specification, your functional specification, your high level design, your low level design, verifying CRS, SRS, HLD, LLD, whether it is according to the requirement or not is called as your verification. Talking about your validation, testing the functionality of an application by executing test cases. So this is one of the major difference between your verification and your validation. Your execution of code does not come under your verification activity. Your execution of code comes under your validation activity. Your verification activity is usually done by developers. Your validation activity is usually done by testers. When you talk about what are the things that we actually do in verification activities are walkthrough, meetings and inspection. When I talk about walkthrough, I mean they go through the code that developer has written. They go through the high level design and low level design and from low level design to coding how developer has done. They verify all those things. They also do inspection to check whether each and everything while converting from customer requirement specification to software requirement specification from software requirement specification to high level design low level design and then finally coding is happening exactly perfectly fine or not these are all activities take place in your verification and the activities that take place in your validation are white box testing and black box testing out of your verification and validation, the first thing that takes place is your verification. And the second thing that takes place is your validation. Because first thing you will test whether your requirement is correct or not, whether while converting your document to your design and then finally coding is working perfectly fine or not. That is a part of verification. So your verification takes place first before your validation activity. In validation, you just test the application. Cost of fixing the defect in verification is usually less when compared to cost of fixing any defect or error in your validation. The reason I'm telling cost of fixing a defect is less in verification is because it is, it is just the document from customer requirement specification that we have converted to software requirement specification. If any mistake is there, if any error is there, cost of fixing the defect is very less. You will just go through the document and you will just correct it. So cost of fixing the defect is very less. When I talk about your validation activity, developer has given the code to the tester. Now tester is actually testing the application by executing your test cases. If he found any defect, he will raise a bug and give it to the developer. Now developer has to fix it again. He need to do white box testing. Then again, he will give it to the tester. Now tester has to test it and verify the that bug is fixed or not. And because of that bug, is it impacting other feature present in my application or not? So that is the reason we say that cost of fixing the defect in validation is more compared to cost of fixing the defect in your verification activity. And the things that are evaluated in your verification activities are your customer requirement specification, software requirement specification, your high level design, your low level design, your code, and sometimes even test cases. And the things that we actually test or that are actually evaluated in your validation activities are generally the software. And the main aim of your verification activity is to make sure that are we building the product in a right way? It is that product which is not yet developed. We need to make sure that whatever the product we are going to build or develop, are we building in a product in a right way or not? That is one of the main important topic or that is one of the main point in your verification activity is we make sure are we building the product right? 
whereas as a part of your validation activity we actually make sure that are we building the right product since in verification activity it is just the documentation that has started from top then to the coding we actually make sure that are we building the product right which is not yet developed but as a part of a validation activity we actually make sure that we have developed the right product or not so i hope this video was useful to you guys if yes please give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mgd and please share this video with your needy friends have any doubt list out all your doubt in the comment section want to reach to me out i have added my core account twitter account gmail account instagram account telegram account in the link description follow me anywhere ask me question anywhere put out all your doubts you have in the comment section i am giving you a guarantee that i will clear all your doubt and i will listen to each and every people who will be commenting in my comment section thank you